on Gangnam Style. Gangnam Style. versus Chicken Tetrazzini, uh, teams that pulled off a, uh, I won't use the term blockbuster, but a trade this <laughs> offseason. Yeah, a trade. They swapped some players. Ah. I wanted an adjective, but all of them sounded too grandiose, so swap me, flea market sort of deal. <laughs> Bar they're on the barter system. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but that's a good angle to take for this game. Uh, we got Brian Neal uh, and the Leonard's uh, former freeballing players uh, now with Chicken Tetrazzini uh, going to against a uh, longtime Chicken Tetrazzini uh, catcher Taylor Wilson now playing with uh, freeballing. So um, yeah, I think this is a freeballing's out to a good start, three and zero. You know, really, really looking good, really rolling. Uh, Chicken Tetrazzini is looking to be pretty much improved, so it seems to be a trade that's worked out both, you know, one of those ones that's... Mutually beneficial. Yeah, very worked out both for them, so it'll be interesting to see this game. I think Freeballing obviously has been playing a little bit better than Chicken Tetrazzini, um, who's just coming off a loss against the Chevy Gangsters. I'll go Freeballing um, by two and a half. I think Flores on the mound is going to be a little tough for those... Uh, CT, you know, kickers to handle. I'm with you. All right, mm -hmm. uh, works for me. I I like the uh, I like the whole combination of Adam Henry and Andrea Hoffman together, hyping up their team and getting them ready to go into this together. Week. Yeah, for life for life, and for kickball. Mm -hmm. And I think they're going to do a great job of hyping this T bump, get going in. Um, I'm going to go with uh, chicken, chicken Tetrazzini by one point. That's just yeah. my call, man. Close game, huh? It's, it's a, this is an emotional call. Like, a purely, um, like, I love those guys. Fair enough. But you know, emotions in Vegas will lose you money. I know, so I've been told, but... I'm glad you don't run a casino. <laughs> Good thing you only go to Dover on the week. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Dover. Yeah. That sale of Macy's got me. <laughs> Dover boy on the hog. Oh, what do we go? Like two runs, free balling. Uh, yeah, sure. sure. All right. Uh, the Chubby Gangsters versus the new kickheads on the block. Chubby Gangsters are going to win. They're going to win by four runs. Discuss. Chubby Gangsters. Uh, woo! You know... It's a team, when you look at their three losses, uh, they, they have a big win over Wasted Talent. Uh, and they have three losses. PB&J got them with the walk-off. They lost by one run to freeballing. And then they got victimized by another walk-off against Pitch Please. You they know, got brutalized on Yeah, that. you know, you keep losing these close games. At a certain point, it becomes a habit, and you just get into the spots where, you know, it's... Oh, here we go again. I don't know if, if Chubby Gangsters are there. New kicks on the block. We talked about them. They're improving. I think this is going to be a close game. Um, I don't... Yeah. Ooh, it's tough. I, you know, you hate to lay money on new kick heads because you don't know who's going to show up. But I'm going to go Chubby Gangsters by half a run. I, I think it'll be close. Well... You, you beat me to it. I was just going to say, normally with Chubby Gangsters, you, you kind of put the question out there, which Chubby Gangster team is going to show up? Are they going to be the team that's all together, or are they going to be the team that's like not really firing on all cylinders? And I think, actually, if I was to channel Well Brock, this is my upset special. I'm calling it. New Kick Heads, are, they're going to beat the Chubby Gangsters. The New Kick Heads are going to beat the Chubby Gangsters. Okay, well... I have to disagree with you on that one, Brent. I'm gonna. Uh, They'll be hanging tough. I'm gonna go with the commish on this one, and uh, I'm gonna go Chubby Gangsters by three points. Mm, okay. I think I think they're due for a win, and I think this is the the team to go against and do it and get them back on track. So, that's my opinion. And opinions are like what they say. Everybody <laughs> has elbows. 
You know they say opinions are like assholes. I was gonna go the clean route there, but yes. Everyone's got them, and most of them stink. Stink. Stinky elbows. Yeah. Uh, so chubby gangsters. I wasn't listening to you too. I'm drawing this picture of Keith. That's He's going new kickheads. I'm going chubby gangsters. Uh, so we agree, like two and a half to chubby gangsters with Brent calling sure. the upset special. Upset special. I just can't even get excited. I believe in you, Hassel. <laughs> I can't even get excited about <laughs> this game. Peanut butter and jelly time for Jason Talent. Things to get excited about. So, free balling, red, chicken tetrazzini, pink, a lighter shade of red, new kickheads, navy, Chevy Gangsters, Carolina, a lighter shade of blue. I don't know. What about purple and, oh, I guess they make the peanut butter and jelly. Together they There you go. go, yeah. Purple jelly, Texas orange peanut butter, they clash. I don't like to see peanut butter and jelly fighting each other. That's one of my favorite sandwiches, I will say. Um, that. I love to see them fight one another. I got nothing to say about this game. Uh, PB&J should roll. Uh, but they won't! Wasted talent! Coming out hot! <laughs> Upset special! <laughs> Woo! Uh, I'm going to go uh, PB&J by 15 and a half. You're a bastard. <laughs> You're just not a good person. Wow. No respect whatsoever for Brad Look Dahl. at Angry Block Keith. <laughs> I tell him that's your line. Uh, all right, I exaggerate. Uh, PB&J by 14, four, 14 and a half. There we go. PB&J, they're going to lay the smackdown on the rookies. Welcome to Waka. Is that what you're saying? Well, no, this is the fourth weekend to Waka, so... Yeah, uh, yeah, they've been welcomed already by Chubby Gangsters. All right, so, uh, <laughs> man, yeah, of course, I'm going to go with PBJ all the way. Peanut right. butter, jelly time, Brent Overshaw, running shit, running the bases in those jeans. What's our line? Uh, I'm going to go at least eight points. And then with <laughs> my upset special, <laughs> that <laughs> averages out to about 11 runs to PBJ. <laughs> Uh, just ridiculous. All right. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll be back with the 8.30 breakdowns. A couple of huge matchups. Thank you for watching 3 Up, 3 Down. Speaking of huge, take a look at that, Brian. See, he's got a house. <laughs> Surprisingly realistic. 8-bit. I love it. <laughs> <laughs>